There are instances when you need to not only log into a remote Linux machine, but gain access to the full desktop of said machine. When you need to do such a thing, you're going to need the help of a VNC server. Fortunately, setting up such a server isn't all that challenging and can be done without spending a single penny on software. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing and configuring a VNC server with the help of the Ubuntu server version 18.04. In order to successfully get this up and running, you'll need the following. Ubuntu server 18.04, a user with sudo privileges, and a VNC client to connect to the remote machine. Let's make some magic. Install the XFCE desktop on your Ubuntu server with the command sudo apt get install xfce4 xfce4-goodies space dash y. Install tight VNC server with the command sudo apt get install tight VNC server space dash y. Upon the completion of the installation, issue the command VNC server and, when prompted, create a new password for VNC login. Kill the VNC server with the command VNC server space dash kill space colon one. Create a new configuration file with the command nano space tilde forward slash dot VNC forward slash x startup. In this file, paste the following contents hash bang forward slash bin forward slash bash xrdb space dollar sign capital home forward slash dot capital x resources start xfce4 space ampersand save and close that file change the execution permissions of the file with the command sudo chmod plus x space tilde forward slash dot vnc forward slash x startup. Restart the VNC server with the command VNC server. On the local desktop, create the SSH tunnel with the command SSH space dash capital L space 5901 colon 127.0.0.1 colon 5901 space dash capital C space dash capital N space dash L user server IP where user is the remote username used to start and configure the VNC server and server IP is the IP address of the remote server. Start your VNC client tool and enter localhost colon 5901 as the address for the VNC server. Once connected, you'll be prompted to enter the VNC password you created. Upon successful authentication, you should see the remote desktop. And that is all there is to setting up a VNC server on Linux. When you need to be able to remote into a server and use a GUI desktop, this might well be your best option, at least when you want it up and running fast and on the cheap.